my wife told me two things before I make this video. She said, one, keep it short because if I, if I talk too long, you'll get bored and turn it off and it won't do any good. And number two, she told me to wear a black shirt because it makes me look thinner. Now let's talk about metal theft. My name is Meyer Turkin. I have developed over the last 45 years, two million square feet of property. I'm a property owner and a victim of metal theft. As we know, metal theft is a scourge upon society as well as a scourge to us property owners and to anybody that has a building, whether it's a commercial building or a church or a school. We read in the papers where everybody's getting their air conditioning stolen. I have written a booklet that I'm passing out that explains in pretty simple terms what metal theft is all about. Most of us are not experts. This is a primer of sorts, what you can do to reduce metal theft. First, there are three steps that you must know about metal theft. The first step is prevention. There are many, many ways to, pre to help prevent metal theft. You can't pre prevent it totally, but there's many ways to do it. And, uh, they're in that booklet. If you are a victim of metal theft, there's two things you must do. Call the cops right away. And number three, right after you call the cops, go to scraptheftalert.com. That's scraptheftalert.com. That is a website that was put together by the uh, scrap industry that hooks up to immediately directly to the police in the area, and all the scrapyards in the area. This booklet that I have put together consists of five articles that are fairly easy to read and understand. They're made so that you can pass them on to other people uh, and you can um, maybe put them in your newsletter or, or your association's newsletter. And, and they make great bathroom reading, by the way. Also in this booklet is a uh, summary of the new legislation on metal theft. It's uh, a little confusing, but kind of skim it. Read what you think you want, and, and you'll get the idea of metal theft. Uh, a couple of things in the law is that scrapyards cannot pay cash for non-ferrous metal. Also, w when you go to a scrapyard to sell metal, scrap metal, you have to have your picture taken, photo ID, and a photograph and identification of the vehicle that's bringing in the scrap, whether it be a truck, a car, or a grocery cart. This booklet is available to anybody who wants it, whether you're a property manager, a homeowner, a church, whatever. It's available just by calling me. At the bottom of the screen is my name my phone number and my email address and um, that's available. We also offer to to make presentations and seminars at your company or your group whether it's property managers, maintenance people, facilities managers so, so that we can all work together and reduce metal theft. Thank you.